Hello, this is Jamie from randomizeduser.com, and today we're previewing Alpha 15 of RimWorld. It's, this is a release that will introduce uh, drugs and also a tutorial, and this will be the first major release after the initial Steam release. So it's all systems go with booze and drugs and things. Okay, they've already got booze in it, but now it's a bit more interesting. So yeah, drugs are things that you can produce from raw materials and temporarily alter a colonist's stats, such as making them happier at the expense of not working as well. Um, you can also sell them for profit. And you can also create policies which forces them to take drugs. So you can come up with a policy where they'll take an anti-malaria tablet every five days, or automatically drink a beer if their mood is too low. So it's all rather interesting. And there's a few other, quite a few other tweaks in this um, particular release, which we'll get on to. We'll discuss a few of them. But yeah, the main one is drugs, and also the tutorial, which we'll have a look at later. Also, if you look at the top right, there's also this learning helper. Um, which will occasionally pop up with tips that you can have a look at, and once you've got bored of it, you can just mark as learnt, like that. Um, you can switch that off if you want, and just toggle visibility off, so once we've actually learnt all this, that'll disappear completely. Um, but I'll just t turn it back on again. Okay, so this is my Alphaville 15 colony. Yep, clever wording, I know, cheers. Um, so we're going to look at the um, the whole process of making drugs and then forcing it down their stupid gobs. Well, so in theory, drugs can be manufactured quite early on once you've researched drug production. Just go into the research screen. I've already researched it, it's dead easy. There are no prerequisites. Um, some of the drugs, um, they need additional um, research, like Malari block production, um, brewing, of course, because, because beer is a boozy drug drug, um, and amphetamine and go juice. Um, some, yeah, so some of them will need that research. Others you can just grow right off the bat. Like up here I have my coca plant plantation. There's my hops. Down here, yes, marijuana plants. Good. <laughs> I'm going to get my colonists so bloody high. Tee hee. Actually I'm just going to sell lots of joints. That's going to be my main thing. Um, generally, you'll once you've actually done drug production, you'll also need to build a drug lab. So you can actually produce these drugs. Um, which is a case is just a case of going to production, drug lab. Um, just do it out of the usual wood, I think, and bung it there. Requires steel component and wood, so nothing too onerous. Although at the moment, none of my colonists are doing any real construction, so I might have to do some tweaking. Right, whilst I wait for Farmessa to actually build the drugs lab, um, I've prioritised it, and we'll we'll just go through the different drugs. Um, there's beer. Um, which um, gives your colonists a better mood, but worse capacities. Malaria block, which prevents malaria infection for five days. Yayo, a stimulant pleasure drug. Flake, cheap, short, high, but very addictive. Amphetamines, improves work performance. Marijuana, um, is like beer, but also makes people slower and get the munchies. And go juice, it makes you faster and a better fighter. So it all seems rather wonderful. However, most of these are addictive. Um, so if they stop getting the drug, they'll have a temporary withdrawal, and basically a very bad mood for quite a while, so you've got to watch out for that. Um, colonists generally won't randomly take the powerful drugs until you actually set a policy for them to do so, but you might get the occasional drugs binge or whatever, depending on character. Uh, there's also been some feedback in the forums suggesting the game shouldn't use real um, names for drugs, like you know, marijuana or whatever, um, But so that might change at some point, but I'm, at this point, really don't know. So my drug lab is now complete, and you do this in the same way that you do anything else. You add bills, and you can do it like that. However, at the moment, I can't do anything because I haven't done all the research, I haven't gathered in plants and stuff like that. So we are going to have to speed up time for a while now. Right, so we've researched amphetamine production now. Um, so I'll just go into research screen. I'll choose brewing because I haven't even learnt that yet. Um, and then we'll, um, at some point, we'll have to actually produce um, some beer, which is a bit more of a complicated system these days. And previously, you just had to harvest the hops, take them to your brewing table. Hang on, there's been a, there's a fight happening. And you take them to your brewing table, and then you'll produce bottles of beer. Now there's an additional um, process of and putting the beer into barrels, and then having to wait for a while for it to actually turn into actual beer. In the meantime, it could actually spoil, so you might have to temperature temperature control the room that you put it in. Okay, now we've researched amphetamine, and we can add a bill to make it. So let's make some, and do it until we have five. I'll make that go a bit down. However, 
you do need neutroamine, or amine, or however you want to pronounce it. A, a precursor chemical, useless on its own. Many drugs require it as an ingredient. So yes, you do need that. And I don't think we've got any. It turns out, look, I do actually have some. Neutroamine. I think I might have started with it. Huh, got loads of it anyway. So, we need someone to actually produce some drugs. I mean, a Breaking Bad style -y. Although he's going to do it a bit obviously, right in the middle of everything. Um, Mrs. Mop, you, you're just cleaning at the moment, so you can do some of this. So let's set you to work. Um, I believe this might come under crafting. So we'll set that to one. And prior highest priority. Right. Do it. I'm just <laughs> going to um, prioritise it. So she's grabbed the stuff, and she's going to make more stuff. Come on, let's amphetamine. Oh, lamb chops got food poisoning. And also got some cargo pods. Uh, camel hair. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> cargo pods, always the most useful of things. Right, so we're going to be making some amphetamine. And there we go, cooking it up. Oh, there it is. We've already actually made some. Delicious amphetamine. So, I could actually set a policy. And in fact, if we change the bill to... Yeah, in fact, let's leave, let's, we'll leave it at that, so she's making it to five. So we'll change the policy, or we'll invent a policy. So this is in the assign screen, and this has been expanded. Previously, it was just about outfits, and was a bit piss. Now you've got the drug policy thing as well. So we'll create a new policy where we can put... Let's, let's give it a name, and multiple drugs can be involved in this. Let's call this Wee! Yes! Oh, we can't put an exclamation mark. God damn it. So, let's add drug amphetamine... Um, and ooh, let's see, what should we give these people? Let's them make it so, um, if the mood drops below 50 or the joy drops below 20, um, they'll take it every day. Could change that to very infrequently or 10 times a day. Uh, we'll leave it at, yeah, every day. Um, and so I could add other drugs if, as that actually happens. Luciferium, that's new. Um, that, yeah, I think that might be added in a more recent build. Uh, okay. So, we'll just leave it at that for now. So, this this will apply not to everyone yet. Um, we'll, you, you actually have to set it here. So, if, if we want Lamb Chop to follow that drug policy that we just created, we'll do that. And uh, we can do that for everyone if we want. So, everyone is now going to be hooked on amphetamine. Hooray! Uh, meanwhile, Blammo over there is dying of plague, but frankly, um, who cares? Okay, so I've just looked up Luciferium, um, and here it is. This is a, a new one that wasn't originally in the release. So this is a, like a bit of a devil's bargain. Um, it dramatically improves the bod in body's functioning in all respects. However, you need to keep on having it. You need to keep on taking it, because if you don't, you will go berserk and die. So, yeah, it is the devil's bargain. So you might want to just sell this one instead of actually get your colonists to take it. There we go. Research beer. So now I can start doing, let's say, go juice. Another thing they've introduced, just whilst I'm on the screen, um, they've introduced um, uh, passive coolers. Um, you don't need electricity now to cool rooms. This is something you can do earlier on in the tech tree, but you do need to still research it. Um, passive coolers, a way to call indoor spaces without using electricity, costs 400 researchiness. Hooray! But for now, I think we'll get on to um, go juice. Delicious go juice. Right, okay, so now we can finally make a brewing... Where is a brewery? We'll do it there. And yes, we will need some fermenting barrels. I think I'll, I think I'll stick it in here into the main room. Hang on, where is it? Production. We'll put it... three of them. But we'll also ensure that the temperature here... Let's do it here, actually. We'll make sure that the, uh, the temperature here is kind of livable, about 20 degrees, and the beer should uh, produce itself quite nicely. So now we're just going to wait for those to be all built. Okay, whilst we wait for these things to grow, the hops are th um, a third grown. This, about 20% grown. The marijuana, 22% grown. So it is taking quite a while. So I think let's do, do a little experiment for now, and with the whole drugs thing. So let's um, let's um, deassign everyone. We don't want to worry this. Hang on, da -da 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 -da. 
We'll make someone, we'll, we'll make someone a little guinea pig. So we can now become there. So this will guarantee that Lamb Chop goes and takes some amphetamine. Uh, let's have a watch. Lamb Chop, go on, have the drugs. There, Lamb Chop is having the drugs. Good. Uh, right. So I'm sure that was very nice for Lamb Chop. So in theory, this should make Lamb Chop work much better and more efficiently. So it's going to be a bit hard to demonstrate this, although by the looks of it, the Lamb Chop is doing some good butchering. So we'll leave him to it, because that's going to be all very nice. Meanwhile, Hansi's now cooking some stuff up. So one thing you can do is um, request trade caravans and using the communicator, finally. I'm not far enough in the, the tech tree to actually get that up and running yet, though, in this colony. There's also a building copy tool, which would hopefully be useful if you want to do lots of identical bedrooms and stuff. And there's also, later on in the game, um, let's just bring this up. Um, it's going to be somewhere down here. Deep drilling. Um, so you can research this, um, which grants access to additional mineable materials on certain squares, so you don't exhaust the map so quickly. Um, you need to build a deep scanner to find the materials, then build a drill on top to slowly produce the materials. And somebody needs to actually operate the drill as well. But as you can see, the, the prerequisites are quite alarming. You need microelectronics and high-tech research bench and a multi-analyzer, so you certainly can't do this straight off. Um, but it doesn't really matter because it'll take quite a while to exhaust a map of raw materials. Especially if you go for like a hilly or a mountainous one. Um, I mean, if you, if you start on a flat one, you might actually um, use up a lot of your raw materials quite quickly. And so this time, I think, I think this is a hilly one. I'm not 100% sure. So we are currently being raided. Um, just one bloke, because I'm on an easy mode. Um, let's see if he tries to go for our drugs. <laughs> it is really is just one bloke. So he's attacking my camel. Uh well, who cares, it's another mouth to feed. Oh my god, at this rate my camel's actually going to kill him. <laughs> Worst raid ever. Yeah, my dromagy is <laughs> quite amazing, actually. Uh, oh, well, would you look at this? We've got ourselves a marijuana. A nice couple of joints. Who are going to be the lucky people who have that? Well, let's um, let's add that to the... Uh, drug policy thing. So select we. I'm going to add marijuana. There it is. And so anyone can have it whenever they fancy. Uh, well, actually, that's not entirely true because at the moment only lamb chop. Well, let's um, let's make everyone a right old druggy again. There we go. So who's going to be the first to get the joints? Well, lamb chops here, but I think he's. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's having it. He's having a doobie. Yay! Oh, lads. Good old Lamb Chop. So, this will make Lamb Chop happier. Um, she'll have a bit of a, like a, a, a fun old time, but now she's going to be a bit slower, and she'll also be hungrier. So it's not all swings and roundabouts. Apparently you can get um, dependent on marijuana if you have too much of it, but that still apparently needs fine-tuning, because most recently it was incredibly difficult for that to actually happen. <laughs> Lamb Chop's going off to giggle in a corner somewhere. Right, so Phil, good old Phil, he's the second to um, get the joint going on. Uh, and now he's gonna, that's gonna slow him right down. Oh, oh dear. He's high on amphetamine and stoned on cannabis. Oh dear. Poor old Phil. Um, so you can, it actually gives you the exact, as you can see here, it gives you the exact um, effects. So, yep. Yeah. Pain, pain reduced 20%, consciousness reduced 30%, 30% slower and more hungry, but yeah, um, increased global work speed uh, and, oh god, he's tired as fuck though, isn't he? So he's faster and slower as a result of having those two drugs, so it's kind of like evens out quite nicely. Meanwhile, look, amphetamine addiction. Farmessa has developed an addiction to amphetamine. She now has a need for it. She will automatically consume the drug to fulfil his need. If, he, if, she, if she can't get any amphetamine, she will go into withdrawal. Uh, well, well, well. So we finally have our first addicted druggie. Hooray! This is where the learning helper might actually have some useful information here. You can inspect your colonists' desire to take a drug in their needs tab. So let's go to... Where's Farmessa? Oh, let's do it from up here. Go to the needs, which is now glowing because of the um, the learning helper. 
Ah, and there we go. Amphetamine. Need. Beca and this person needs to regularly consume the drug to avoid withdrawal symptoms. But you might, of course, you might actually want them to go through withdrawal, um, if you want to get them off the drug. Um, however, after long enough with withdrawal, their addiction will end, and the drug will need will disappear. Um, hang on, let's mark that as learnt, and make that thing disappear. So the coca is still growing very slowly. Um, I wasn't very clear on this earlier on, but the coca is actually something that um, you can use to produce two different drugs, uh, and not chocolate. <laughs> Uh, let's go to this. A leafy plant native to Earth's South America. Weirdly, its leaves can be refined into cocaine. However, let's just have a look at what that means in practice. Uh, let's go to uh, we, which I've added flake and yayo to, because that's what you can make um, the coca into. And flake, a flaky substance that can be smoked to introduce a small, short, but powerful euphoric state. While it is cheap to produce, it is exceptionally addictive. And meanwhile, yayo is a fine white powder snorted to produce a new high. high. Yayo reducing the needs, uses need for rest, and suppresses pain. It is, however, addictive. Market value, $18. Ooh. All right, just close all that down. Let's look at the research screen as well. This is what I'm currently doing, cocoa refining, which I'll need to actually produce both flake and yayo. Um, but it's going to take quite a while yet. Yes. We're finally harvesting some hops, so we'll be able to get on with the brewing very soon. Come on, farmer, sir. Get cutting! Okay, to actually get them brewing, um, as before, you need a bill, and this time you're actually making wort out of the hops. So I'm doing it until we've got ten. So that should encourage... Oh, there we go! Lamb Chop is already making wort. So let's speed that up a little. Um, in theory... Gonna... Oh, where's that going? Where's it going? Where are you putting it? You're just dumping it there. That's not what I wanted. Um, not refrigerated spoils in five days. Right, so someone's going to at some point put the wort into the barrel. However, um, in the meantime, since it's stored, I don't really want it to be stored there. I kind of want it to be stored up here instead. Um, I don't know where the, um, the wort is in all this, but let's have a look. And presumably, is it raw resources? Raw food? Manufactured. There's all the drugs. Ah, there it is. Wart. Right, so yes, we want wart to sit in there. And we don't want it to be in here. So let's take it off of here. There we go. Now the wart can sit in there until it's actually put into a barrel. Um, which, which somebody just has done. In fact, Hansi is taking some and put it into the barrel anyway. So, I mean, it's didn't have time to spoil, but in future, when there's actually lots of this stuff, sort of stuff going on, you might actually need to make sure that you keep it refrigerated. Okay, so that's going to be fermenting for a while. As you can see, progress is very slow. It's going to take nine days. So basically ten days in total. And eventually we'll have beer. And as I said earlier, it could spoil if the temperature in this room gets too high or too low. But I think we should be okay, because it's 17 degrees and it's autumn. So what can possibly go wrong? But yeah, eventually they will now get beer. It's a much longer process than before. Indoors here, it's actually getting towards the end of, well, the middle of autumn now, and it's only six degrees inside this room. As you can see now, this is no longer an ideal temperature for fermenting beer. So it's now only at 91% efficiency, which isn't too bad. But as you can see, as soon as it gets below seven degrees in here, things start to go a little slower. So see the the actual finished in number is kind of like bouncing around a little as the temperature fluctuates a bit in fact uh, the cooler probably shouldn't be on anymore because now it's getting towards late in the year so let's take that off we might even need to put a heater in here oh fuck we've had a blight <laughs> all the crops are dead so unfortunately we're no longer going to be able to oh god even the marijuana's gone, for the most part. Nah, fuck. <laughs> well, such is the game of RimWorld, I guess. Also, we had a slow solar flare. Ah, uh, well, I won't be able to show off cocaine then. Oh, that's a shame. Um, although you can, of course, always go into hydroponics. Uh, but I think that's beyond the scope of this. So what we'll do now is... Um, I think everything's going on quite nicely. We're going to get beer in six days. But for now, I think we'll switch to a new colony. And we'll explore the tutorial. We won't spend long on this, because it's, um, it's a tutorial. Um, it'll tell you what to do. I don't need to do that. 
But yeah, this is how the tutorial will feel. Uh, oh, oh god! <laughs> right, so just press generate. It'll just guide you by with all the yellow, all the yellow flashy things. It'll tell you this. Select a site with with a with temperate forest and flat terrain. Um, so something green. Is that temperate? Yes, it is. Select site. Now you'll generate characters. Try randomizing a character with the randomize button. Great. Um, randomize more if you want, but don't try and get the perfect character. This is all stuff I said in my um, how to get started with RimWorld video. Only this is more wordy and less me shouting at you. So yes, I mean this is really kind of like the absolute basics. Um, you can zoom in and out. You fill the yellow bar and it'll complete. You can pause time, so you play around with the speed buttons. Press 1, 2 and 3. Shortcuts. F try pausing with the space key. So if you do, make sure that you do follow all the instructions to the letter to fill up the yellow bar. In fact, now it's going to tell me about 1, 2 and 3 to speed things up. Then it tells you to create a stockpile, uh, which is all very straightforward. Then it'll tell you, right click to get out of stockpile designated mode. Now allow your colonists to bring your items to the stockpile. You must unforbid items. So yeah, double click, deselect, all the usual stuff. You should be quite familiar with this if you've played the game. Unforbid this. It'll, it's, as you can see, it's telling you everything you need. And then it'll tell you how to build a room, um, which is all very nice. So you just have to follow this and everything will be good. Um, I'm not going to do any more because... Jesus Christ. <laughs> but yeah, that's um, that's how the tutorial work, the worm mode will work in Alpha 15. Anyway, I think that's enough for now. That's giving you a good idea of what's going to come up in Alpha 15, which I don't know when it's going to come out. It's still very much in the um, bug fixing um, time at the moment, but I'm sure it won't be too long. Okay, so thanks for watching. This has been Jamie from RandomizedUser.com. Uh, check out my Let's Play of RimWorld, which was the Alpha 14 version, but there aren't huge great differences really. Things still apply. Um, so that's all very jolly and nice. So get to it. Or you can just, you know, subscribe and all the usual stuff. Okay, so um, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.